Number 13, Colorado State men's basketball. Lost to unranked Utah State last night, 77 to 72. And Colorado State was thir up 32 to 28. But the second half, Utah State scored 49 points while allowing 40. And, but here's the deal. Utah State was favored by, to win by two and a half. And they were 14-1 going into this game. While, I mean, 13-1 going into this game while Colorado State was 13-1. So either way, somebody was going to get their second loss of the year. Now, Colorado State, you didn't shoot the ball bad in this game. 44.8% from the field on 67 attempts, but 33.33 to 33.33% from the three-point line on 24 attempts. And what really killed you in this game, I think, is because of free throws. 36.4% from the free throw line on 11 attempts. I ain't going to get the job done. you got to make your free throws count. 33 rebounds, 11 those offensive, 17 assists, 5 steals, 3 blocks, 9 turnovers, 21 fouls, and how many points off the bench? Okay, that's 9 points off the bench, and you also had 3 double-digit scores in this game to combine for. Okay, that's 33 plus 21, that's 54 points. If you want to go like 6 points or more, one a player with 6 points. Yeah, not enough. But Utah State had 13 bench points. They only had two double-digit scores that combined for 38 points. However, they have one, two, three, four players with six or more points that combined for, okay, that's nine plus nine plus nine. That's 27 plus eight, 35. So they had not as many double-digit scores, but they have more people to help. Especially when one of the... Players had 20 points, so yeah, they didn't shoot as good as Colorado State, but it was like 0.7% difference. I mean, 44.1 on 59 attempts, so they took less shots, but they still won the game. 27.8% from the three point line on 18 attempts, they could have to improve, but they made their free throws, unlike Colorado State. That's the difference 87% on free throws on 23 attempts, 45 rebounds. On 13 attempts. I mean, on 13 of those are offensive. So they won the rebounding battle. They won a free throw shooting battle in terms of the number of attempts and the percentage. It's pretty hard to lose. And 11 assists, not as good. Five steals, five blocks, 13 turns, 15 fouls. So what do these two teams have going forward? And I expect Colorado State to drop in the rankings now because of this loss. It's a matter of how much. You got to go on the road to Boise State, and that's not going to necessarily be easy. You got Air Force at home. You got UNLV at home. Both of those teams are 7 and 6. You got Nevada. That's 14 and 1 on the road. Yikes. Now, not going to be an easy game. And then Wyoming. That's 8 and 7 on the road. Now, for Utah State, they have the following games Wyoming. That's 8 and 7 at home. On the road to UNLV. That's 7 and 6. You got New Mexico, that's 13-2 and two on the road, so not necessarily going to be an easy game. You got Fresno State, that's 7-8 and eight at home. And then Boise State, a good Boise State team, that's 10-4 on the season. So anyways, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe. It. I'll see you guys later on the road to 600 subscribers. Of course, ultimate goal is 1,000 more, so make money out there. Of course, like the video. Comment video really helps the YouTube algorithm so more people can see it. Sharing the videos help as well so more people can watch. If you're watching and not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It's free to the notification bell as well.